are you a high school senior in need of something to really get yourself on track for scholarships and college essays and things of that nature? This is the video for you. My name is Luani Hernandez, a high school senior from New Jersey, ready to show you a tutorial on how to make your own high school senior master sheet. Let's get started. Hey guys, so this is the tutorial that I'll be showing you guys on how to make your own like senior year master sheet. So I've been using this since basically August of 2021 and I wanted to show this to other students because I think this is a very um, helpful tool in knowing you know what exactly you need to know about the college before you actually apply there not only a college list but also a scholarships list because since um it's that season again where everyone's going to be applying for scholarships it's very important to be you know on top of your stuff and really get them done so with that being said let's get started so um there's an example for um, a college list. It's one of my colleges that I applied to, Kane University. So I had implemented some information right here. So basically, you have your college, the name of college. So you have Kane University. So your application type. I implemented this because I had some applications where it was on Coalition app, like Rutgers. Um, I had some on Common app, and then I actually had to go on the college site. I thought it was best that I could indicate that so i don't have to add them on my common app or anywhere else so number two is is it a safety is it a target or is it a reach so some like most of my colleges were like safeties and targets but if you're the type to go for the ivies or go for you know any of that um kind of caliber of a college then you'll be indicating which one you have here this is average financial aid net cost so like this is just like an estimate that i got from naviance but like this is where pretty much where you'll basically um be able to like put like tuition or fees you know average housing and basically your overall net price if you were to go there and cost of attendance basically school scholarships so you, th these are the scholarships that you can apply for within their university um usually there's going to be colleges that um up that within your application they can offer you scholarships but it's also important that you look up these scholarships ahead of time so you can see what you guys are basically capable of next is admission requirements so that's basically you know it you don't really need an explanation for that. It's just what you need in order to complete the application. Next is AP Dual IB Credit. Any type of credit that you can get within your high school years, this is where you can indicate what kinds your credits one of your colleges take as well as how much they actually offer you. So if you need help finding out for like AP scores, how like what kind of scores you're supposed to get in order to get the credits for each college, there's actually a link right here. If you click it right here, it will take you to the College Board website where you'll be able to basically find, you know, like different types of courses so like let's say like if you have like a score of a three in ap literature like you can see what colleges that you picked that you want to apply to see which ones actually fit that and you know whether or not you have to fit that requirement or you already reached it so the next one is um deadlines and application fee so this is very important so like you can get on top of your things and really get them done say whether if it's early action regular decision um, the cost of applying and if you have a fee waiver you can put it in there too. Admissions counselor. If you have an admissions counselor that has been emailing you through your um, one of your school emails or in such, you can put their contact information right here and I find it really important if you start a great relationship with them and you, you know, um, talk to them every now and then, know more, knowing more about the school, asking questions is very important. So having their name, their phone number, and email right there so you don't forget is very, very helpful. Pros and cons. Basically, you know, it's just after going to an information session virtually or even just going on a campus tour as well. Um, after my campus tours, I usually like to put my pros and cons on this section right here it just really helps you when you're trying to make a decision about a college next is essay prompts you basically input your essay prompt there so you don't have to keep on logging in every now and then like to find your essay prompt you can just easily find it on your spreadsheet so and then right here you can basically check off that you submitted the application it's just a great way of like keeping yourself on track and then finally you can put ooh, your missus 
decision. I got accepted, so I just put accepted. You could also have waitlisted or denied. And yeah, basically that's just it for the colleges. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna be going on to the scholarship section of the video. I'm gonna be doing a little example right here with a niche scholarship and basically showing you how to input your information. I think it's very, very helpful. So here's an example on how to do that. So let's say you go on niche.com and you go to, let's say, let's try this one, the no essay survey. So basically I would highlight this, copy, and then pretty much paste it on here. This is a scholarship type, which is basically like a random picking, but if it's merit-based, if it's need-based, local, you can also indicate that as well. The application status, okay, so as right now, it looks like it's pretty much open until December 29th, so we'll open. Deadline is once again, December 29th. My status basically meaning like, are you interested? Are you in progress of it? Are you actually done with it? It doesn't have to be things that you're actually doing. It just be things that you're interested in. So like next year, for example, if you see one that's for women in STEM and, but it's not open yet, and you're still in high school but it's something for undergraduates you can save it on this file and so you can just pretty much go back to it next year and be able to apply to it okay so the draw date will be january 10 2022 so you can basically copy and paste that on there next do you want to receive it you can basically indicate that how much money it's 2222 that's such a pretty number <laughs> And then if you would like, you can put the website link as well. So copy and paste that. Okay, right? You can pretty much copy and paste the link right there. And then so that way it'll literally be right there. So it's hyperlinked. It'll direct you towards the scholarship website. For all my high school seniors, I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. And have a wonderful day. Good luck on your college journey.